All right, so we're coming back to kind of an old project today, and that's this uh, solar generator that I've built quite some time ago, and I'll show you the rest of it here in a bit. But this is the uh, the main panel that I started off with. This is a 100-watt uh, Renogy solar panel, and ever since I built this thing, I've been using it to power my Christmas lights, uh, which are just LED Christmas lights. There's not too many of them. Um, I'll show you that at night, but uh, it's snowing right now. It seems like a pretty nice uh, time to do a video about it. It's not even too windy out. So uh, anyhow, this is the main panel, and sometime after I installed this one, I actually wired in the panels that are up here as well. And this, and these are the uh, like the older style uh, Harbor Freight ones. And those are uh, 45 watts in total. Those are amorphous cells. And then this one's a 100 watt Renogy solar panel, which is a monocrystalline one. But anyhow, these run back into the garage, which I'll show you where the uh, battery bank and everything is. All right, so we're in the garage now. I do want to apologize for the video and audio quality of this video because I don't have, uh, well, I'm just hand holding the camera and I don't have the proper lapel microphone on that I usually do. I just have a shotgun mic mounted backwards on the camera, so it's pointed at my face, but uh, it should be okay. It's also really dark in the garage here, and it looks like from the camera's LCD that the camera's doing a better job in the low light than my own eyes are, but uh, hopefully it'll be okay. But anyhow, I have the uh, solar panel, or the solar power from the panels outside comes in underneath that garage door, and there's kind of a gap where there's no um, like seal underneath that door, so that's where the wires are going in through. And they come up over here uh, into this XT60 connector, which is connected to well another XT60 connector, and then pigtailed up into the charge controller, which is rated for 30 amps. It came with my uh, solar panel kit uh, when I originally bought all this stuff. And then the output of that charge controller goes through this box and this box is something that I built I believe last year and its uh, sole purpose is to measure the current and the voltage that flows through the box so and then this will wirelessly transmit that back into the house where I can monitor it and I'll, I'll bring the monitor out later uh, but I have a video on how I built this as well and then anyway that outputs and then that just gets uh, straight or hooked straight into the batteries uh, so this just monitors how much current goes in and out of the batteries and then on the other side of the charge controller we have the load output which is connected into a cigarette lighter socket and then that's connected into a 300 watt XO vision power inverter and this is something I just bought at Walmart uh, quite a number of years ago and the reason why I go through the charge controller is because we can set the charge controller to go or we can set it actually in a lot of different modes but the way that it's set up now is when it gets dark it turns this output on so what I do is just leave the inverter turned on so that switch is always in the on position and then this thing will control uh, whether or not the inverter turns on and if the inverter turns on of course the lights turn on which are hooked into these two cords which run outside so fairly simple setup um, in terms of the rest of this stuff we have three deep cycle batteries we've got two up in this cart here because originally this was meant to be a, a relatively portable thing anyhow and it does roll around on the cart pretty nicely but uh, anyhow uh, we've got another one down there as well they're all like walmart ever start fairly cheap batteries but they've held up really well i've done capacity tests on them fairly recently and they hold their own still so Anyhow, 300 amp hours worth of capacity. I've got a 600 watt pure sine wave inverter on this thing, which I'm not using for the Christmas lights, but it's here. And it's what I would normally use if I wanted to pull power out of the system. Um, anyhow, I do struggle a little bit getting enough power to keep the lights on and you know not drain the batteries down past about 50 percent because when it's it's winter obviously right now it's cold i don't want these batteries to get uh, depleted to the point where they start to freeze so i do try to if i notice the voltage is falling pretty low i will put a charger just across these two bare terminals here and just enough to hold it up and that usually won't happen unless i've got a couple of cloudy days in a row where it's not quite getting enough power into it because the lights pull about 30 watts and I have roughly at its peak maybe 100, 110 coming in uh, for the day but uh, I'll show you the power monitor later for this when the uh, lights come on. Today is kind of a cloudy day as I showed it's already uh, snowing but uh, 
Anyhow, uh, I've actually been wanting to make this video for quite a while and never got around to it for whatever reason. So maybe 2018 will be the year where I finally start doing videos about solar power experiments, uh, which is just something that I've always wanted to do and just never got around to. I built this thing uh, mainly to experiment with it and I never really messed with it too much. So uh, maybe we'll start doing some of that in 2018. And uh, anyhow, for the rest of this video, I'm gonna wait till it gets dark and we're going to take you outside and look at the lights just for the fun of it. So uh, I'll see you then. All right, back outside again, and it's uh, snowing again. It stopped for a while, but uh, anyhow, we've got one of the cords that goes straight up to the lights up there, and you can see down here where all the uh, cords are going in and out. We've got the solar in, and then 120 volts out, and then that secondary cord kind of runs down the side of the house here, and the lights all the way down the side of the house and then of course at the front of the house as well so all that stuff that other cord still run along the bottom here and you can see the lights from one of those uh, sort of star shower things and then the other lights that are here that thing and then there's this Christmas tree here with some presents underneath it and the rest of the house. We've got a couple of snowmen, which you can't really see. Or maybe you can see them. And then there's just this tree uh, with these presents underneath it that all light up. All this stuff is uh, LED. I'm not entirely sure how many total bulbs there are on all this, but the uh, whole thing draws roughly 30 watts out of my battery, so it's not too bad. I'll take you inside and show you the, uh, the solar monitor thing that I was talking about earlier. All right, just to show what it looks like right now, this is that solar power monitor that I built in a different video. Um, kind of low right now, as I said, it was kind of snowy and cloudy all day, so 12.13 volts, uh, actually quite low, uh, and roughly 30 watts coming out of the batteries, as you can see there, 2.3 amps. It will last quite a while without the solar power, uh, <clears throat> though this is uh, most certainly on the low side of things. So uh, anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and uh, Merry Christmas.